Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yes. <laughs> the old damsel in distress trick works every time. You need some help? No, I'm fine. Thank you. Not cute enough. All right, need some help? No, um, my boyfriend should be coming any second now, but thank you. OK. Not smooth enough. Everything all right? That's our man. I've seen they've gotten a flat tire somehow. Oh, that should be easy. Do you have a spare? A spare? Is that that little thing in the back? Yeah. It is. I got one of those. All right, let me pull over. Two, after you've recruited your man, get him a drink. Yeah, she got him a drink. Don't worry about that, dog. Just do your thing, all right? Uh, yeah, she want to play hardball, huh? Hmm. I'm about to turn up the heat up in here, man. I'm about to turn up the heat. Oh, hey, 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 baby. Hey, hey. Hi. Would you like to dance? I'd love to. All right, please. Take off, man. Oh, that's a sexy guy. Three. Don't worry about him. He's like a child begging for attention. Ignore him. Recognize that that little performance over there, all that bumping and grinding, it's just to get your attention. Doesn't matter what he's doing. Direct all of your attention to him. Doesn't matter what he's talking about. Just be real attentive. Laugh at all of his jokes. Act like you are having a ball. And then I said to him, like, who do you think I am? It's Jim Carrey? <laughs> <laughs> She hasn't moved all day. Oh, you in trouble, dog. Why you say that? Because if she was dancing with somebody, man, that'd be fine. That's not personal. You know, you can dance with anybody. Right. But she's sitting there talking to this cat for all this time, man. That's personal. She's trying to get to know him, man. Four. Raise the stakes by going to a quiet corner. Would you like to go inside? It's getting a little noisy out here. Sure. Okay, great. What happened? Where'd you go? She went in the house. She went in the house? What old boy? Nah, man. You are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shante, can I talk to you for a minute, please? Sure. Um, would you excuse me, Calvin? Sure. I'll go get us some drinks. Okay. Yeah, you go get some drinks. So, what's up with you talking to him all day, huh? Trying to make me jealous, huh? <laughs> I am not trying to make you jealous, Keith. If I'm talking to him, it's because I want to. I'm not into playing games. Oh, you're not into games? No. Oh, please, you are the queen of games. You play more games than the whole damn NBA. Ooh, he is mad at you. So the situation is getting hot. It's time for the coup de gras. That's the French term for fuck him up. Keith, I gotta go. Oh, no, 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 hold up, man. What the hell is this for? No reason. What do you mean, no reason? I'm just carrying it just in case, all right? Just in case what? She's going home with him. I know she's going to sleep with him. Look, man, you're overreacting, all right? Everybody has condoms nowadays. Yeah, but why does she have it in her purse? Who knows, man? Decoration. She's not going to use it. Did she sleep with you on the first date? Yes. Oh. I know it seems like a lot to go through, but if you do this right, you'll never have to do it again. So grit your teeth and stick it out. You know what? We need to talk. Excuse me, Calvin. You are not going to leave with him. Keith, don't try to control me. I am not trying to control you, okay? I don't want you to go. Well, this isn't about what you want. It's clear to me that you don't care about me or you wouldn't have been getting your groove on with other women last week. And to add insult to injury, you're here with Connie. So excuse me. 
I'm leaving. Shante? Keith, I want to go. Let me tell you something. Look. Now, if you walk out that door with him, I'm going home with Connie tonight. Keith, if you feel that you have to control me by going home with Connie, go right ahead. Do what you gotta do. But no matter what you decide, I'm walking out that door. Gotta go. You're taking a huge gamble here. He actually might go ahead and sleep with Connie, but my guess is he won't. He'll be at your house tonight, waiting for you before you get there. So take your time. Well, good night, Calvin. You sure you don't want me to come up? Mm, I'm kind of tired, but thanks for following me home. That was really sweet. No problem. Okay, this is it. Prepare for a night of heat. When you open the door, your man should be sitting, waiting on the couch for you with flowers. <laughs> <laughs>